You know, I have to hand it to you guys. Cyborgs are just amazing to me. So much power and speed. It's not all gravy. No? How so? Well, things have improved a lot in the past few years. But back when I was modded for the first time, keeping artificial blood free of impurities was a huge hassle. Artificial muscles need a constant flow of oxygen from a blood source, just like the real thing. But it was a challenge getting the kidney units as small as they needed to be. We all had to undergo routine dialysis. Sounds rough. Used to be even worse back when Dr. Clark was still experimenting. Bad nerve connections would screw with the test subject's pain receptors. It was torture. Compared to that, I had it pretty easy. It wasn't until recently that you could eat and drink like normal people, right? That's right. We generally use glucose-based nutrient packs to keep the brain running. But we can absorb nutrients orally now, too. Whatever we eat's broken down by nanomachines. And we have taste sensors as well. It's not exactly like it was before. The difference is, I can turn those sensors off if I don't need them. That's been surprisingly useful. So cyborgs can live pretty much normal lives now? Well, getting there. We still need fuel cells and nutrition packs, not to mention regular maintenance. It's a lot of dough. Of course, another big problem is how other people look at you. How do you mean? There was a time when I wore artificial skin. Tried to look as close to normal as possible. I've still got some now, on my face. The tech at the time wasn't great. You still looked pretty unnatural. Maybe you could fool someone from far away. But up close, even a baby could tell I wasn't human. Going out shopping or whatever, you could feel all those eyes on you. I tried to find something to do other than fight. But looking like I did got me two strikes pretty much as soon as I walked through the door. That sounds terrible. Well, you appreciated it when people were honest about it, at least. But when they were too polite to just say so, that was rough. Things are getting better these days, though. Artificial skin's improved a lot. And you don't get so many stares now that the general public knows about cyborgs. Hmm, maybe I should look into the cyborg thing, huh? I could eat whatever I want, whenever I want. <laughs> Probably cheaper just getting lipo, Courtney. Jerk. You're right. Just take care of yourself. Ha! <laughs> Don't worry. Africa was more than enough excitement for one lifetime. It's a good thing that limo was armored. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you'd now be the world's clumsiest cyborg. Hey! Cyborg Courtney could have been your partner. I'm not a save your ass. How? By spilling coffee all over the enemy? <laughs> oh, come on. I'm not that... Oh, son of a... Please tell me that was a joke. Damn, two fighter planes downed? Pretty impressive riding, even for you. It's not me, really. It's this body. Well, sure, it helps. But it would be nothing without your tactics and reactions. Maybe. I wouldn't even dare take them on if I wasn't in this frame, though. <laughs> you never could take a compliment. But I admit, the tech is pretty hot. Makes you wonder what'll happen once cyborgs become more common. It'd mess with sports, that's for sure. I doubt we'll get to that point. A lot of groups have already explicitly banned cyborg athletes. Even the ones that haven't, well... You know, they're not gonna let them on the field. Well, sure. But what happens once folks get used to seeing cyborgs perform all these superhuman feats? For a lot of folks, the regular stuff just wouldn't cut it after that. In fact, I bet they'd welcome you guys in stuff like extreme sports. You know where the show's half the contest? You see that video with the cyborg skater? It's got like a hundred million hits. Novelty, Kev. Nothing more. What excites people is seeing regular folks doing superhuman things. If there's no training, no sacrifice beyond I paid for the operation, that'll get real old real quick. Well, it's more than just the operation, though. You need brains to drive that body, right? A lot of people just like to see the limits of how far the human body can be pushed. I bet plenty would want to see just how far cyborgs can go, too. Like, a cyborg pro wrestling league could be pretty interesting, or, or, you know, football. I guess it could happen. Maybe then you'd consider getting enhanced. With enough cash, you could jump right into the top ranks of any cyborg sport. It'd be nice, but I've always sucked at sports. There's no way, unless I swap out my brain, too. Nah, I'm content just watching from the sidelines. You know, Doc... If you're such a big believer in cyborgs, why haven't you made the jump yourself? An excellent question. There is one very good reason for this. 
And that is? Wait, wait. Is there some problem with the tech you didn't tell me about? No, no. No problem with the technology. The issue is I would be required to be separated from my original body before I could be transferred. And? So what? Well, then there's no way for me to oversee installation into my new body. You could have someone else do it. Ha! Amateur! Hacks! I would not trust the ever cybernetic surgeon to repair my toaster oven. I possess one of the world's foremost minds on this field, Raiden. This is not a boast, it is a fact. Entrusting that to someone less talented... Imagine a great architect asking an infant to build his new home. No offense, but I mean you're just assembling some... Raiden, Raiden, Raiden. Raiden, this is not like putting together your bookshelf. It is quite literally brain surgery. More than that, in fact. There is an art to doing it correctly. <laughs> all right, Doc, all right. I hear you. Ah, I suppose I should not expect you to understand. Regardless, I am in fine health for now. Perhaps by the time my body begins to decline, there will be others that might be trusted with the duty. But which body to choose? Hmm. Perhaps a young female frame to surprise all my colleagues. <laughs> to surprise your colleagues. Right. Thank you.